Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. So continuing my Building Your Pure from Scratch series on my road to becoming an AGS Pure, since I am going to be getting prayer on this account, I've got it at 15 for now. I'm probably going to do 31 eventually because I like to be able to skull. I just think it's kind of annoying if you can't. And I wanted to get the range kind of pounded out first, so I had to get a couple quests done to get the accumulator because AFKing the Nightmare Zone would get pretty costly if you do not have the accumulator on you. Had to knock out a couple quests for that. Also went ahead and got done Lost City. More so for the Nightmare Zone bosses than for the dragon weapons themselves. And I kind of get a kick out of how easy this quest is since you can just stand behind this mushroom and mage it. Reminds me of when I first played this game as a 13 year old kid. I didn't know you could do this. I also had just become a member so I didn't know about prayer potions. So I actually went in there with a full inventory of food and actually tanked that thing and killed it with the bronze axe. And it took the full inventory. It was, it was, it was fun though. It was good RuneScape memories. I am going to continue trying to use Hans like this a little bit to show exactly how long things took without having to have anyone take my word for it. Not that my word is not good. But it is not always the most accurate indicator because... As I've mentioned before, I don't have the best attention span, so I'll inevitably get distracted and go off and do other things, even briefly. Also, it doesn't take into account all the times I have to run to the Grand Exchange to buy more ammunition, or when I go and take the Nightmare Zone boxes and sell the herbs. But I managed to get 75 range using the Magic Shortbow with Myth Arrows. That is probably not the best way to do it. I ended up only getting about 36k experience per hour going from 74 to 75. I was really glad to get level 75 range so that I could start training with the toxic blowpipe. I'm anticipating about double the experience per hour using that weapon. I probably could have used a rune crossbow. It might have been better than the magic shortbow. I didn't take the time to compare the two ever, but honestly it didn't really matter to me a whole lot since I was doing things on other accounts the entire time. Uh, it was completely AFK'd, and it did it did take about 14 hours to go from 70 to 75 range. But again, that's not factoring all in all the times that I wasn't training. Um, so that's probably not that great, but that is how long it took me. So it was really nice to begin training with the Toxic Blowpipe. I basically got from 75 to 99 range on my Zarek account using this weapon. It is absolutely head and shoulders above anything else for training I feel like and there is 80 range right there so I'm gonna go ahead and check with Hans again see where I am at I did get about 75k experience per hour from level 79 to 80 so it was actually a little bit more than double what I was getting with the magic short bow I'm probably gonna title this video like the range grind or something like that and certainly I have much more work to do ranged wise but the levels are getting pretty far apart and it takes a longer and longer to get them and they kind of doesn't really make for a really interesting video saying that oh look I just went from you know 80 to 85 range well by AFKing the Nightmare Zone I felt like this might have been a little bit more useful earlier on when I was kind of showing you what quests to do in order to help you get started with your pure but uh, checking with Hans, it took me about 12 hours to go from 75 to 80 range in the Nightmare Zone, AFKing with the Toxic Blowpipe. So here's where my account stands now. It's really kind of coming along. Got a little bit of work to do on the melee front. I'm going to get 60 attack and then probably knock out Monkey Madness. I will be making a guide for how to do that with no defense and no prayer if anyone's interested. I'm looking forward to getting this account PK ready and making my first PK commentary. In the past, Bounty Hunter has not gone that well for me, but hopefully it will be different this time. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.